After Pinkerton's less than warm reception in 1996, Weezer took a five year long hiatus. Many things changed in this time, but nothing more so than the sound of the band. After releasing one of the most authentic and melancholy albums of the 90s, the band released a single that would completely reinvent their image. Hashpipe. It was a massive commercial success, but it sparked debate among critics and fans alike. For those who fancied themselves intellectuals, the discussion was whether this rebranding was the band selling out or experimenting with new sounds. Nerd! While that's all well and good, the important question to this day for those of us on the slow side remains, did he just say asswipe? <laughs> I'm sure at this point you're heavily contemplating leaving this video, but hear me out. Hashpipe never got an official lyric sheet. That's why there's so many lyrics that people can't agree on, like Big Cheese versus Big G's and Kick Me versus Kiss Me. For the last 20 years, even the most official lyric sources have been quite literally playing this situation by ear, listening to the song and choosing what to write based on that. If you don't believe me, how about a simple Google search? The first thing anyone would do to find the lyrics of Hashpipe would be to Google Weezer Hashpipe Lyrics. There we find lyrics sourced from lyricfind.com, a trusted source of music lyrics since at least the year 2000. Their website reveals that not only do they provide the lyrics for Google searches, but also YouTube, Amazon, Deezer, Pandora, iHeartMedia, YG+, Kanjian, and Xperi. This is a source for lyrics that can't be taken lightly. And they say the lyric is eyes wide. But, of course, the big corporate lyric source says there's no asswipe. That's what the man wants you to think. It's like hearing from the Soviet Union's state-sponsored news that actually Chernobyl isn't so bad. If we are to find the truth, we must consider every option. Up next on our search, Genius Lyrics. Not quite as corporate as Lyric Find, but still corrupt enough to have no mention of asswipe. Yet, if you look at the comments, you can see the conversation is alive and well. It is asswipe, not wide, 7 likes. Actually, it's eyes wide, 16 likes. Piss, 7 likes. Who can we even trust anymore? It's clear there remains division amongst our ranks. If we are to convince even these staunch eyes wide supporters, we must dig deeper. AZ Lyrics, solidly in third place in the field of lyric sources, says a strong yes to asswipe. Meanwhile, songmeanings.com says no. Lyrics.com, however, also says no, but songfacts.com says no. Weezerpedia says no as well. Hmm. Let's check the second page of Google results. Ah, karaokelyrics.net says ass wide? That's not even, where do you even, you think this song's about gay sex? That's ridiculous. How do you even conceive of such a thing? What the fuck? So apparently, in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Rivers Cuomo said the song is about a quote, gay transvestite prostitute. Is this song about gay sex? You know what? That's not even what we're talking about. The discussion is about eyes wide versus ass wide. I mean wipe! Clearly, the various lyric websites can't agree on a clear- How about Reddit? Somebody more dedicated than I must have found the truth. Nope. As far as I can tell, everyone there is clueless. I don't think anyone's ever bothered asking. It's weird to think people have gone to Q&As and asked about the Muppets, but not asswipe. Regardless, Reddit did clear up the fact that during a 2021 live show, Rivers very clearly sang Eyes Wide and Big Cheese. But revisionist history isn't out of question for the band. Songs like We Are All On Drugs, Why Bother, Suzanne, and even Blast Off, a track from Songs From The Black Hole, have all allegedly faced lyric changes in the years since their official or sometimes unofficial release. With little help from lyric websites or Reddit, I had to think outside of the box for my next lead. I learned from the genius lyric comments that if you turn on the official captions for the music video on YouTube, the revised video, I should add, it says, Kick Me, Big G's, and Eyes Wide which is just a really weird combination as Rivers has clearly become pro Kiss Me in recent years. Either way, the music video really cements it. These lyrics aren't auto-generated. This is the closest thing we have gotten to an official lyric sheet to the song, even if it has been edited. It's not like there's secretly been a way to hear the lyrics better this whole time. Oh fuck, it's that exact thing I just said. This is the Green Album. And this is the Green Album Deluxe. One is clearly more badass, but the other actually released. 
Instead, what we call the Green Album Deluxe is a fan-made compilation of B-sides from the various CD releases of Green and its singles. There are a lot of really phenomenal tracks to be found on this hypothetical album, but the ones we're interested in for the purposes of this video are the remixes by Chris Verena. More specifically, Under Glass. This remix changes a lot. It slows down the melody, adds reverb and synth, but most importantly, slows down the lyrics and presents them in a much more isolated manner. What I'm saying is, it's far easier to discern what the lyrics are listening to this you got your problems. than this. And if you listen to Underglass closely, you hear, come on and kick me. Come on and kick me. You see? Very clear. No S sound, no confusion. Besides, the other Chris Benner remix is called Kick Me. This lyric is 100% Kick Me. Slightly less clearly, you can hear Big Cheese later in the song. You got your big cheese. But you have to consider that that makes far less sense lyrically. You call someone a big cheese. Nobody has a big cheese except for Andrew Jackson. Plus, if you say G's aggressively like Rivers does, it will always make the chuss sound. I say 40-60 odds in favor of G's, as it sounds like cheese, but G's makes more literal sense. Finally, we come to our last lyric of contention. So, once and for all, is it eyes wide or ass wipe? I listened really closely, I did. But I'm having doubts. There are two instances of the lyric in the song, one around the 1 minute and 35 second mark, and the other at 2 minutes and 55 seconds. And here, you listen. I got my ass wide. He doesn't enunciate the last syllable. It's like one of those sounds where you only hear what you're reading when the sound plays. I got my ass wide. It's clearly an A sound at the beginning. That narrows it down a little. I give 10% odds that the lyric is eyes wide just because of all the sources that believe that statement and because of the possibility that he's saying eyes weirdly. You probably think that means that this is an ass-wipe sweep, but recall he said in that interview that the song's about a gay trans prostitute, which in 2001 terms is his way of describing a prostitute that takes it in the butt. Shockingly, with this fact in mind, ass-wide makes far more sense than ass-wipe, especially when taking into account the rest of the lyrics. First verse, these players come to get me because they'd like my behind. He's singing about people, specifically players, liking his ass. Verse 2, the knee-stocking flavor is a favorite treat of men that don't bother with the taste of the teat. Knee-stocking flavor is referring to attraction to legs. Taste of the teat is referring to attraction to boobs. He's singing that the guys chasing him don't like boobs, they like legs. In this context, in a song full of references to gay slash trans sex, I think the argument could be made that the confusion is intentional. Rivers has admitted that the song's about a quote, gay transvestite prostitute. So imagine your Rivers writing a song about gay sex. Your magnum opus is all finished, but suddenly it hits you. The year is 2001. George Bush is in office. Same-sex marriage is outright banned in 41 states. Your audience is teen boys who are very insecure about their sexuality. You can't have ass wide as a lyric. Every other lyric is far more subtle. Players wanting his behind could be about guys wanting to kick his ass, and knee stocking flavor is just indecipherable in an era before genius lyrics. But ass wide? That's clear cut. That would get you in much more trouble than hash smoking. So what do you do? Censor yourself? No. You strongly imply the lyric is eyes wide. Never release an official lyric sheet, underpronounce the final syllable, yet sing ass wide. So with all that in mind, between ass wipe and ass wide, I say, it's clearly ass wipe. The whole song's about shitting if you actually paid attention. Thank you so much for watching this filler. I'm trying to keep uploading consistently while I work on my next full album analysis, The White Album. It's looking to be my longest video ever by a large margin, so I thought it'd be wise to make something to hold you guys over. All things considered, The White Album video should be out in two weeks. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.